Last night, at my direction, the United States military successfully executed a flawless precision strike that killed the number one terrorist anywhere in the world, Qasem Soleimani. It's been exactly three years since former U.S. President Donald Trump announced the assassination of the head of Iran's Quds Force in an American drone strike on the Baghdad airport, along with an Iraqi paramilitary commander, Abu Mahdi al-Muhandis. Shocked and furious, RGC leaders vowed the U.S. would pay a price. We will continue the path of Soleimani. We will remove the U.S. from the region in several steps. The Supreme Leader backs this. God has promised to revenge Soleimani's assassination. There will definitely be some actions. Two days later, Iran launched at least 12 ballistic missiles at the Ain al-Assad airbase, housing U.S. troops in Iraq, injuring at least 110 service members in what was the largest ballistic missile attack ever against American forces. Last night, the Americans received a slap in the face. But that was then, and since, Iran, and mainly its IRGC paramilitary, has struggled to fill his shoes. That's mainly because Soleimani was seen in Iran as a visionary who embodied the perfect balance between the ideology of the Islamic Revolution and military strategy and tactics. Under the leadership of this shadow mastermind, the IRGC carried out hundreds of deadly attacks all over the world. And he was also considered to be the closest thing to the right-hand man of Supreme Leader Ali Khamenei.